Well, here we are on site down in Green Valley, Arizona, a little bit uh, farther south of Tucson, but on site with the trailer. Not a lot of people running through the cul-de-sac, but uh, uh, regardless, still got the banner out and actually using the back of the trailer today, which is awesome. But today's uh, awesome opportunity is this Road Trek van. A little bit older model, but pristine. Just had it repainted, uh, so we're gonna do it right. Some of the things we're gonna do, we're gonna put 300 watts of solar up top, and then uh, she's converting to lithium. So we're going in here. The old battery box is right down in there. Now, the new Epic 300 amp hour lithium battery, as you can see, is not gonna drop right in that. Can't even modify it like I've done on some other jobs. So it's actually gonna be moved up to that location in the corner. And then we're also going to install the solar controller up in there and then on the other side of that wall to the left of that speaker is where her breaker box is and that's where we're going to take out her old converter and put in a Victron smart charger and then the last thing we got to do is get the solar from the roof down and you can actually see there's a compartment right above there there's another one up there uh, so probably just to the right side of the fan is the final compartment that's where we're actually going to go through the roof uh, because there is a, uh, a vent up there uh, so that's where we'll put our PV entry point uh, to be able to run the solar down and then get the wires all the way down and then run them in here to the solar controller and then attach them to the battery. <clears throat> in preparation for that we got panels all ready to go so it'll be two of these slim panels from Rich Solar and then one of these regular size ones they will actually be in front of the fan. So one in front, two slim ones to the side. So 300 watts of solar. And you can see we've already started putting together our first panel here. Um, what we actually use are these 5 16 nuts, bolts, washers, and lock washers. So we can guarantee that it's never gonna come off. And then we actually use these mounts. So these are the S5 Versa Bracket. V, these are the VB47s that we're actually changing to the VB67s to get a little bit more standoff. Uh, they may be Z-brackets, but awesome because you got a lot of uh, airflow capability underneath and butyl tape embedded in the base. So once we actually screw into the roof, guaranteeing a really good attachment, it seals right away. And then we go over it again. Whether it's Dicor or on the case of this guy, since it's paint all the way through there, on that uh, plexiglass roof, we're going to use some Sikaflex 221 sealant. Uh, so double sealed, adhered, double adhered, so no panels going anywhere, nothing to worry about with her cruising down the road in the van. And with that, we'll get to going and get all that stuff installed. More to follow. All right, things moving right along. We got the now 200 watts up top, and here's the reason why. You can see the curvature of the roof as it goes up. The 100 watt panel actually would have generated tons of lift because it had overhang on the left, overhang on the right. I've removed panels off fans before because of this lift. You can feel the shuddering as they're driving along. I had a talk with the customer and we ended up deleting that panel. But still got 200 watts of the thin panels in the back, slim panels in the back, working like a champ. Now, one thing about vans is how do you run all the wires? So I tried to go by this vent in here, but basically stymied down at the bottom of the bathroom. So we ended up being able to, to go through the roof right there, secured all that down, and then we're able to peel off the wall a little bit, run the cables down through back behind there and then out. So that's our solar connection. So now 
almost ready to finish everything in there. But before we went in there, we needed to replace the converter with this Victron Smart Charger. So old style converter. It's underneath here, can't see it now, but basically the ground goes directly to the chassis. This is, the red is behind there as far as the power. So what we did is tap into the ground directly and then ran new power cord uh, to this. So this is what's gonna actually plug into the smart charger. And then as far as the smart charger getting power, uh, able to find and put in a new connection in place of the old converter. And then our smart charger will plug directly into this and then sit neatly in here, covered up, out of the way and generate perfect 25 amps of power. Replacing a 40 amp controller, so we've got plenty of space. All right, so about to finish this, close this part up and then uh, install the battery, a couple of bus bars probably, and then solar controller, cut off switch, and then fire everything up and we'll be ready to move along. And now all complete, got our 200 watts up there. We have to flip the battery on its side uh, because of that um, MBRF fuse. Got to have a fuse to protect the battery, but awesome thing about lithium is that you can flip it on its side. So solar panels going down through the breaker, uh, 200 watts. We already got 125 as soon as we fired it up, charging the battery. So the solar controller is in bulk charge mode. And then you can see our two bus bars, positive bus bar here, negative there. So we're able to clean up all the wiring that was coming up from underneath. And then installed a good shutoff switch and the smart shunt. So we can make sure that she knows what she's running and, uh, and be as efficient as possible while she's out on the road. And with that, another install complete and another happy customer.